Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 legendary art attack creations. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at Neil Buchanan's art pieces that we bet you probably remember from your childhood. Which art attacks did you make at home? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Chinese Dragon Let's be honest, big art attacks were what we probably all loved the most. While not the most colorful of his creations, Neil's Chinese dragon has to be one of the most intricate and impressive. With nothing but a few boxes of red lentils at his disposal, he was able to outline a dragon that looked absolutely flawless from above. But it's not just us who love it, Neil also included it in his list of favorites. Oh, that's very nice, is that? Number 9. Paper Mache Trousers This is the bit I always dread, popping the balloon. Wait for this. One, two, three. Yeah, we honestly can't say we know what they were thinking when they conjured up this one, but hey, it's the results that matter. Using the downright legendary combo of papier-mâché and an inflated balloon, Neil put together this eyebrow-raising piece. I've painted on a brown belt, and I've even done a sort of gold buckle on the belt with one of those gold pens. And if you see here, I put in lots of little detail with a very fine black felt tip pen. Why trousers? We don't know. But as kids, we all thought this was awesome. And hey, they weren't just for show, as Neil illustrated with some fine examples of their use. What about keeping all your art materials in there? And this is my favorite. Sweet. Number eight, Dream Island. Sea and surf. In fact, anything you like, because you're the designer. You knew it was just a matter of time before the PVA glue got busted out for this list. And boy was there a lot of it for this creation. Dream Island was a cracking way to start this classic episode. All of that tissue into the shape of your island. As Neil mentions, it looks pretty naff at the beginning, but the results were quite magical. Place them into the glue and then wrinkle them up to create the ways. Yeah, our own attempts at making a dream island may have paled in comparison to Neil's, but the most important thing was he inspired us to get up and try it ourselves. Number seven, pet monsters. You can take as long as you want and put as much tape on as you want. Trousers weren't the only memorable thing Neil made with balloons. Back in 2002, we couldn't get enough of these rudimentary models. Our favorite host showed us just how far his imagination stretched and all it took was some simple tools that we had at home. You could streak in some lighter yellow for veins and sinews. Can't say we endorse his suggestion of hiding them around the house to scare your unsuspecting siblings. You gotta wonder how many screams were heard around the nation that week. <laughs> Good, aren't they? Number six, the tiger. Uh. Come on, we all loved when Neil would say, it's time for a big art attack. And for many, this is the most iconic one in the show's history. Taking a day out to the zoo, the canvas ended up being the field, and his paintbrush, a selection of animal feeds and such that he managed to get his hands on. The focus here is of course the beautifully put together tiger, but Neil went the extra mile and included a couple of terrified zoo goers and some bars to lock the creature up. As kids, we never wanted to try making a big art attack more than this one. Number 5. Fantasy Flyer They build a model first. This one is just plain awesome even as an adult. We all had leftover cardboard lying around the house, and there was no better way to use it than with this. The more bits of rubbish that you put on, the better. You really have to applaud the creativity here, as all these little bits of rubbish come together to make something genuinely good. For a lot of us, this was the perfect vehicle to go along with our favorite action figures and it barely cost a penny. I think that looks as if it's come straight out of the latest 
science fiction movie. Number four, plop arts. I keep getting the urge to do this. We couldn't talk about legendary architects without mentioning the one that started it all. In the very first segment of the very first episode, Neil gave us a taste of what we were in for with this fun little project. And then into the empty eggshell, you pour paint. He opted for the most bizarre of tools to bring this piece alive. Eggshells. These paint-filled shells weren't the only thing that dropped when we saw this back in the day, as our jaws were on the floor too. Sure, it's a little messy, but this made us realize how creative the show could be. Two colors in one eggshell. Plops away! Number three, Fantasy Castle. Look at that. A fantasy castle. Artitech proved you really could use anything to craft, even used bog rolls. For this segment, Neil put together some of those, as well as some kitchen roll, PVA glue, paint, and some simple sheets of paper. Just take some strips of scrap paper and just twist them into shape and then bend them, one for the door. Our little minds were blown when we saw the glorious results. It proved to be one of the easiest but most impressive art attack creations the show had ever come up with. Look at that, there it is, a fantasy castle. Number two, garbage gobbler. What you need is a garbage gobbler. Come and have a look at this. Surely you remember this one. It was front and center on the Art Attack books back in the day. Kids are messy, that's a fact. So this project aimed to get them to chuck their trash away in the most interesting of ways. When you've taped it in place, you'll have something that looks like that. Best part about this is, any of us could have done it. All we needed was some newspaper, paint, and, of course, some of that good old PVA glue. Show of hands how many of you actually managed to make one. Try it yourself. Gobble your garbage with a garbage gobbler. Number one, Big Neil. Look at this lot. Don't use these anymore because I've got them covered in paint. But of course, the best thing about Art Attack was Neil himself, and he was immortalized with this epic creation. This big Art Attack features Neil making, well, Neil. And what better tool of choice to put himself together than his own clothes? We all wanted one of those red Art Attack jumpers, and there he was chucking a bunch of them on the soggy grass. But at least they were put to good use, as there he was in the end in all his glory. What a legend. Guess who? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.